Okay, so let's get into some of the some of the other changes that are happening. And one of the things I did notice uh, was first up was that the screen options have reduced in this version. And I'll show you what I mean. Oop, I'll just get rid of that terrible thing there. Sorry about that. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. If we go into the old version, remember up the top here in the top right hand corner, we had screen options. And I'll just click on that. And in the screen options here, you've got all these specific options you can highlight and they will appear down here. And you can choose between um, your your columns layout as well. So if you've got specific uh, column layout you want to have, you can choose three, and you can choose four, and go back to two however you want. If we pop back over to the new version, um, or go into screen options, and you'll notice that it's changed considerably. Uh, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, five options there. And you'll also notice the column option has also been removed. Now you'll notice uh, also really all they've done is they've merged uh, WordPress blog and other news all into the one WordPress news option, okay? So that makes a lot of sense to me. And there's no real reason for having for having two. And I really like that feature. However, recent comments do appear in the dashboard only when there actually are comments to display. Okay, so what I mean by is that if you have a look in here, you'll see recent comments will just, you can, in the old version, you can choose to see comments or not to see comments, right? In the new version, uh, the comments will automatically display as they as they appear. So if you haven't had any comments of recent, you won't see any comments in this uh, in this new layout. And uh, also, as I played around with this a little bit more, I did also discover that you know although although the columns option has been removed, if I actually change the screen size uh, to say you know, a larger one new column spaces just appeared on the dashboard. So I guess this is to, this is due to the fact that this new version uh, is actually a fully responsive version too. So it's designed to work with tablet devices, you know, on your iPhone, your iPad. Okay, um, that's, that's what this new version is designed to work with. So it will adjust the columns and, and, and what it does, it stacks them as your screen size gets smaller, and that's on the that does that on the uh, smaller tablet devices. Uh, but however, what I want to do is show you what I mean when I make the screen size a little bit different. So, for example, see how I'm just making my screen size a little bit smaller, and you'll notice that what's happened over here. Um, this is the responsive side of things happening here. That that box has now appeared okay automatically and if I go the other way and blow it up you'll notice that the screen has automatically adjusted and it's stacking it underneath there so it's not that we've we've actually lost the columns they've just done it more intelligently now in it for this specific responsive uh, responsive theme so it will automatically uh, just adapt to the size of your screen. You can still, uh, for example, you can still move stuff around. You know, if you, uh, if you want to change, and put that there. You can still do that um, with with this. It's just that there's no button there to create a, a, a separate column. It's just all based on your screen sizes. How that works now.